Southeast Mississippi is known for its piney woods, Civil War history, and rich agriculture. November 1862, Newton Knight and his friend Jasper Collins deserted the Confederate Army. It would be after the fall of Vicksburg that Newton would return to Jones County. He gathered up 125 men and formed the Knight Company. The early months of 1864, the Knight Company is basically in control of Jones County. In the official records of the War of the Rebellion, in March of 1864, General Leonidas Pope, who was the commander of this district for the Confederate Army, he writes a letter to Jefferson Davis, and he says that Jones County is in open rebellion. Another one said, they have even gone so far as to raise the uh, flag of the United States over the courthouse in Ellisville. You know, that tells me that the deserters are pretty much in control of the county. Right behind me is the Jones County Courthouse, where Union leader Newton Knight led 125 of his men to this very courthouse and raised the American flag claiming Jones County as the free state of Jones. June 1964, Andrew Goodman, Michael Schwerner, and James Chaney were about to head to Longdale, Mississippi to talk to the congregation of Mount Zion Methodist Church after learning that members of the Ku Klux Klan had burned down the church. They were completely unaware of the tragedy that would soon strike. Their bodies were buried in a dam on Burge's Old Jolly Farm, a few miles southwest of Philadelphia, Mississippi. The news of the civil rights workers' death sparked outrage amongst Americans. More importantly, for many African Americans, the message is, okay, many of these black people have been getting killed and the federal government has just kind of said, well, we can't do much because Mississippi is the way it is and we just kind of got to let those folk in Mississippi do what they do. But once two whites were killed, uh, the federal government comes in and many people feel like this is a direct contradiction to uh, the fact that there hasn't been any real aggressive concern on the federal government's part up until the loss of life by uh, two whites. For the state of Mississippi, it was almost like, well, yeah, that's true, but we're trying to illustrate to the rest of the country that there is, has been some change in the state and there has been some progress. The makeup of the juries are different um, and that the fact that they are prosecuted illustrates that Mississippi is at least trying. So give us some credit.